Have you been asked to add or subtract fractions and you don't remember the steps to do that? Well, you've come to the right place because I'm Professor Capco and I'm going to show you a super simple method for doing that in today's video. But first, I want to say I believe something great is going to happen for you today. And now back to the video. If you're someone who thinks you can't do math, give this video a thumbs up and that way I'll know to make some more videos simplifying math for you. Thank you. In this video, we're going to talk about adding and subtracting fractions using something called the butterfly method. This is an easy method to add and subtract fractions when you just have two. So you have two fractions to add or two fractions to subtract. This method will work perfectly. If you have three or more fractions that you need to add or subtract, you'll have to use um, some of the different methods that I have in other videos. But this one is just focusing on two fractions being added or subtracted. And we're going to use something called the butterfly method. This is a super easy, quick, and I'll say even fun method to add and subtract fractions. Now, as we know, when you're adding or subtracting fractions, you have to have a common denominator. So if you had a common denominator, you could just add or subtract the numerators, which is the numbers on the top. The denominators are the numbers on the bottom. If they're not the same, we can't just simply add them. We're going to have to take these other steps. And today, we're going to use this butterfly method. So we're going to add 3 fifths. We're going to add to it 1 quarter. And to do this method, the way that I like to do it is first you draw the butterfly. So we've got a nice wing here and a nice wing like that. The butterfly has some antennae. And I'm going to take whatever the sign is between them and I'm going to put it between the antennae like that. And we have a body down here for the rest of the butterfly. All right, so I've drawn the butterfly, so now it's time to do the butterfly method. So I'm going to follow the wings, and I'm going to multiply the numbers that are in the wings here. So 4 times 3, or you can do it this way, 3 times 4, either way, 4 times 3 is 12. So I write that number here. So under the antenna, I put 3 times 4, 12. On, for this antenna, I go 5 times 1. 5 times 1 is 5. So I write that number there. And then lastly, I multiply for the body down here. 4 times 5. 4 times 5 is 20. I write that there. Now all I need to do is put everything together. I draw my line for my answer fraction. Whatever is in the body here, I put that as my denominator. So that goes right there. Then I've got 12 plus 5. I add these numbers together. 12 plus 5 is 17. So the answer to this is 17 twentieths. It's as simple as that. Now let's do the subtracting of two fractions. Of course, once again, I would need a common denominator. In this case, we don't. I've got a 5 here and a 4 here, but that's okay. We can still use the butterfly method. I start the same way. I draw my wings of my butterfly. Next, I'm going to draw the antenna. In between the antenna, I put whatever the sign is. In this case, it's subtraction. So I put it there so I remember that I'm subtracting. And of course, the and the butterfly needs a body. So far, so good. Then I'm going to multiply. 6 times 4 is 24. I put that under this antenna. And then I've got 5 times 1. 5 times 1 is 5. I write that there. And then for the body, I'm going to multiply. 5 times 4. 5 times 4 is 20. Now I draw my line for my equal sign. I take whatever's in the body and I put that as my denominator, 20. 
And then up here, I take this and follow the sign. So I've got 24 minus 5. 24 minus 5 is 19. So the answer to subtracting 6 fifths, I'm subtracting 1 quarter, is 19 twentieths. And now you know how to add or subtract fractions using the butterfly method. If you found this helpful and would like to see some more helpful videos like this, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Thank you.